Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 54. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, so we're taking part in another endurance race this time. Uh, today is the S Class Championship, or Class S if you want to be pedantic. We're going to be taking the Carrera GT. We're not going to take the Koenigsegg this time. Um, and hopefully, I don't crash and burn on the second to last lap. Alright, so we're on to our second attempt for this race. Um, we spun out on the first lap, so it wasn't anything horrendous. This thing has mental acceleration in the second and the third gear. Tiny bit of contact there. Nothing we can't deal with. The only problem is going to be that death chicane. So, obviously, Tokyo has two death chicanes. Um, but they're a little less aggressive because of how the leading corners and... Like, the corners before the death chicanes means you can't actually have that much speed going through them. Um, so they're not as bad. This one, there's only one, which is good. But it's horrendous because you're going to be going at max speed. We fall into parallel. You know what I would not mind seeing is that Xbox and Microsoft are actually making a VR option for the Xbox. I know they're not going to do it because it's pointless. But the only reason is because that means then there could be the potential for games like Forza to get VR. And I mean Forza Horizon in VR would be the most spectacular thing ever. In the world. And we follow. Building up on the crowd. From the crowd. Not bad. This thing is bloody quick, though. I'm looking forward to the new Formula 1 game in VR. I've seen a little bit of VR content for F122. And uh, it looks good. The only thing is... Uh, well. I'm just hoping that the full game experience will be enjoyable in VR. How the hell have I managed that? That's so bad. Luckily, I've got no steering damage, so we're okay. Look at the car. It's been absolutely destroyed. My heart to life again. Now I can see an ultraviolet. All right, not bad. Mm. 
to get closer to you. On you. But now I see it all. Not bad. One forty six is quite an impressive time, actually. There we go. All right, lad. There we go. All right. Down, down. That lab was actually going to be pretty good until I hit that uh, barrier. Chip, I keep hitting that barrier. Not too bad. Let's keep this going. Oh, my phone battery is low. It's 15%. Oh, I really did not like that. How the hell did I absolutely crash out and lose first place the last time I ran this? The Koenigsegg couldn't have been this much slower then. The cool thing is, um, majority, I think a majority of the motorsport games after motorsport, th well, three onwards, I don't think a lot of the races actually require upgrades for the cars. The only reason you would want upgrades is, say for example, you've got a Porsche that's an A-class, but you want to be able to use it for the class above as well, rather than buying a new car, you can just upgrade the car and use it, for example. I think that would be the only use case for upgrades for Forza Motorsport 3 onwards. Uh, Motorsport 5 has an insane amount of events um, per championship. So no matter what, I think each championship is going to have to have a different car just to keep it fresh. But each car will be used for like 17 races or something like that. It's crazy. There's a huge amount of events for those ones.
I think Motorsport 6 has a similar story to 5 as well. Not bad. Okay, we got a little bit of brake problems and drivetrain problems. Uh, nothing a good old repair can't fix. Um, I think end of lap 10 is when we're going to pit. So... Don't see the point in pitting any earlier or any later. But we do have a tiny bit of damage to the car, so it might be worthwhile doing it earlier. Hit me like the sun. I love this song. It's kind of weird, though, that none of the Forza games actually had an active arrow up until Motorsport 4. Which, I mean, I guess it's because they wanted to focus on the actual gameplay rather than the aesthetic of the cars, I guess. Which, I mean, probably did work for Motorsport 3. I think that's why Motorsport 4 is such a complete game, because, like, all the stuff they didn't get done in Motorsport 3 to make it a complete package and make it amazing, they just did in Motorsport 4. Where my barriers crash right in and hit me like the sun. Not bad so far. Mm. Ouch. Okay, rear tires are starting to light up a little bit. Feel like the sun. You know, this career is actually doing a good job. I am very glad I picked it. But I am regretting not putting a custom paint job on. Because it does look a bit bland. Whoa. Note to self, don't ever shift out a second. I think I've done it a couple of times now. It just really kills your momentum when you're shifting into first in this car. Because this car is going around all of these corners in second or higher. So, it's kind of pointless. Right, next lap is our final lap before the pit lane. Twenty-three second lead, not too bad. Good thing is we still have a substantial amount of grip, so 
While the other cars are going to start losing their grip, we're going to keep going. It's a very bad idea. Oh, yeah. So, uh, note to self, you really do have to break before the chicane. But, also, good thing is, we got a pit stop this lap. We are missing a wing mirror, though. So, uh, anyone comes up our... Uh, I'm trying to think. Left-hand side. Probably going to get crashed into. Oh, well, sucks to be them, I guess. Twenty-six second lead. Not bad. We got pretty worn out rear tires here. So I'm predicting lap 19 is going to be quite challenging to try and drive. Because this is already a little bit tough. Right, so we're going for suspension, brakes, steering, gearbox, everything. Not bad. Pulling away now. So, the car is now properly stable again, but we have a completely destroyed front, side, and other side. You can see how much short the braking distance is actually now that uh, the front brakes are properly repaired. And uh, we have come out of the pit lane ahead of the other cars. Which is a plus as well. Right, next lap we're going to push. Let's see if we can beat that uh, 145.9 lap time. doing too bad of a job actually probably shouldn't have shifted down there we're at a 1.4 second advantage on that best time
Oh, 2.4 seconds. That's looking really good. That contact, though, has ruined that lap time. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Jag. Nice pass there. Still doing better than the best lap time. No! Okay, we got an eighth of a second penalty there. Surprisingly, when cars are going in the pits on this track, there's not a whole lot of lag. Not bad so far. Is it going really well, actually? By the looks of it as well, I think a majority of the cars are pit already. So, about a 29 second lead. Not too bad. It's enough actually that we could, if we have a collision that's bad enough and damages the car enough, that we could take another pit stop and try and push for that position. That's the extent of this um, gap at the moment. I read it in the paper. Bonk. Looking good. Ouch. Banana, 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 banana,
go, not bad. Is that the Enzo Ferrari? Oh my god! It's a Ferrari! I know why, I really love the Enzo. I hope that there's actually a way I can get it slightly earlier on in the game for either the next one or the one after. Motorsport 3. Because I really want to use the Enzo properly. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, oh, you bastard. Whilst I'm behind this Ferrari... I am losing time to the car behind. Oh my god. So have 52 seconds. Wait, why have we got 52? Did they not pit earlier? And I just gained time naturally like that? Is that how much time was gained on those worn tyres? Bloody hell. All right. I'll take it. Not bad. Yo, coffee filler, what up? How are you today? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, bonk. Yeah, so you can see that time started to go down while we were stuck behind that Ferrari, which is never ideal. Good to hear, good to hear. Good to hear you're doing good. Ooh. I didn't even realise what lap number we were on. 16 of 19. Not too bad. <laughs> Definitely not cruising. This is uh, Rio de Janeiro on uh, Forza Motorsport 1. The, uh, the retro game of the Forza franchise. Technically speaking, if we think of how what we've classed as retro games... Being like the original Xbox for the past god knows how many years and like PS2 era being classed as retro. That means since PS5 and that has come out, technically speaking, Forza Motorsport 4 and Forza Horizon 1 are technically classed as retro games now. Which really makes me feel fucking old. <laughs> Really old. Jesus. Oh, Jesus.
Right, so we're starting to see those rear tires go. And by the time we get to this point on the next lap, we're going to see the rear tires are going to be a dark orange color. And the front tires are going to start to wear out. If uh, the first stint was anything to go by. Which normally is alright. I'm just concerned about that 19th lap. If I look at Warzone and the CODs in the early days, I think I might get a space in a care home. <laughs> God, it really does make you feel old when you look at... Especially when you look at these games that you used to play as a kid. Definitely makes you feel a little bit older then. Alright, that car behind, the one that with 48 seconds, is going to start catching up big time now. Because we've got worn out rears. And we're starting to wear out the fronts as well. Which means we're struggling for grip big time. But hopefully, 48 seconds is enough over the next two laps that we don't have to worry too much. As long as we don't crash. <laughs> GTA 2D. Fucking hell. That is... That's an old game. Joe, I love how OBS is so dormant in the background that my D drive keeps turning off. Because it's not using it at all. Even though OBS and everything is stored on it. To the point, as soon as Coffee Filter sent that message that had the emoji in it, it had to load what the emoji was from my hard drive. Which meant it had to turn it on and spin up and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> So that was, uh, that was quite a slow load. <laughs> yeah, that is a long time ago. Right, those rear tires are in that dark orange phase now. By the end of this lap, they could be red. Like, blood red. That's it. We did it without crashing into the death chicane once during this race, so... That traction control is working so hard right now. Little to no grip as well. I'm really hoping as well that this um, format where Xbox allows you to download physical discs on a Series S with an external disc drive that you can then unplug to uh, authenticate discs and get a digital copy. I really hope that that works and that they can work that out. Because if they do, I'm buying a Series S. Only because when it comes to my newer Forza games, to have it all on one system with an SSD might actually be worth the Series S's money. It's obviously not a graphical upgrade for Forza Motorsport. Uh, actually, yeah, Forza Horizon might look great. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I gotta think about that one. But I definitely have to save this replay. Uh, take our winnings. 155 grand. Woohoo! Then we got the Saline number 2 S7R. Not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.